everyone bless you bless you saints how's everyone doing saints I need everyone to share this broadcast invite your followers everyone saints the power of God is so strong <laughs> the power of God is so strong saints I pray for everyone before we get off of here and saints once again Merry Christmas to you <laughs> we celebrate Christ Jesus as always every day but we thank the Father for sending Jesus into the earth. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him for sending himself in the form of human flesh for us. It's a beautiful thing. And the saints know it's not about a tree. It's about the tree that Jesus died upon. Because that was his purpose. Crucified, laid behind a stone, he lived to die, rejected and alone. The saints, what I admire about the life of Jesus is that he lived for everybody, but died with nobody. You think about that, saints. Saints, that's a beautiful, touching story. And it, yeah, it breaks my heart. It still breaks my heart. Even though I wasn't there, I was there. Because he lived for everybody but died with nobody. The saints, what was so powerful was Jesus went around doing good and then he received evil and he did no wrong. The saints, I just want to tell somebody the awesome thing about when you surrender to Jesus, sometimes you put in predicaments, you don't do wrong but you still experience wrong. You count it all joy and, and rejoice because it's an honor to wear that same crown that Jesus is wearing. Why? Because you're in a place where you're tasting the same cup he tasted because he trusts you. He loves you. That's the beautiful thing. And I, I just want you to remember that and keep that in mind because saints, what begins to happen is the more you go through the stuff that Jesus went through, the more of his spirit that takes you over, the more that the anointing comes upon you, the more that his power comes upon you. Because when he sees that you are willing to experience what he experienced in the realm of suffering, he also lets you experience what he experienced in the realm of power. Notice it said the fellowship of his sufferings And the power of his resurrection. What do you think that is? When we deal with the fellowship of his sufferings, that's where you experience that bitter side. The power of his resurrection, that's where you experience the sweet side. Saints, we celebrate Jesus around this time. As always, we celebrate him every month. But we thank him. Everybody got their day. Martin Luther King got their day. Uh, <laughs> We celebrate Martin Luther King Day. I don't want to celebrate no Martin Luther King. I don't care what none of y'all say. <laughs> he ain't died for me. He got shot. Jesus died. He laid down. He took the bullet for real. And saints, he the reason why we came out of slavery. And saints, I want you to hear me. Cause black, and listen, black people still in slavery today. You can't love your brother. You still a slave. You hating on your sister, you still a slave. Saints, how many, how many people you see in the church, church woman, be acting so carnal? Oh, what she got on? That's slavery still today. So Saint Martin Luther King ain't do squat. All he just did was walk around. Jesus released the anointing to deliver you from slavery. Hatred. That's all racism is. But saints, it's not just a race of black and white. It's, it, 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 
the racism is still in the black community. Black people are still racist. Black people look at white people and say, oh, oh is a white person? Look at them. So it, it's, it's not just a, a, a thing with, with just a certain race fighting another race. It's a spiritual thing. You got to be delivered from Satan. It, it's not even about the color of a skin. But the devil will use anything to keep you in bondage. You see what I'm saying? Saints, there's an anointing when you let this Jesus take you over. And this is the season for it. This is the season for it because you can't stay the same. I'm going to be talking to you about a powerful subject, how a prophetess crushes the head of the serpent. Now, saints, all of my teachings on a prophetess is very deep. God has given me wisdom for women. The only way a woman can fall underneath my ministry is if she want to fall. No woman can fall if she listens to this prophet. Because I know too much. Jesus has spoken to me too much. Because I humbled myself just like Solomon did to ask him for wisdom. The Bible said Solomon was able to have wisdom over science, over plants, over everything. Females, she males, he males, details, seashells, all of that. Caitlin's, <laughs> all of that. Saints, as you're joining on Share This Broadcast, you're going to experience the power of God. And men of God, you want to be on here so that as you grow into your marriage, as you grow into the place that God is going to release you, you want to know how to be a blessing to woman. You want to know how to be a blessing to woman. Woman, woman carries such an important aspect of your life. No man can make it in this life without woman. Women have the ability to organize. They have the ability to create atmosphere. They have the ability to create structure. It's in a woman's ability. The same way a woman can create structure, the same way a woman can create strife. The same way a woman can cause people to believe someone, a woman can cause people not to believe someone. The power of a woman. God gave women certain abilities and blessed is the woman that uses her abilities for God. Because the same way a woman can convince you for righteousness, a woman can convince you for wickedness. The woman has so much of divinity inside of her that we see that even Adam, he knew what God told him, but he believed her side of the divinity. Oh my God. Saints, did you hear what I said? He already knew what God said to him, but he believed her side of divinity. Jesus. Now, saints, here's a man that's in the glory. He already knows what God says. He's, he, has an, he doesn't have a prophetic issue. He's a prophetic missile. So he's strong in the prophetic. He doesn't need help. But he believes her side over, of divinity over God's side of divinity. That's the power of a woman. I'm going to talk to you about it. Saints, this is going to be real deep. If you are a woman, call your mother. Even I know some of y'all mother dusty, but call your mother. They always got something to say about Prophet Josh. Call your mother and tell her to, to, turn, to turn her phone on. Not even television. Turn her phone on. We talking about something tonight, Cletus. Now, Saints, everybody, <laughs> I hope you had a special day. My day is awesome. Hope you had a special day. The grace and glory of God <laughs> is going to come upon your life from this teaching. Bless you. Bless you, everybody. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Saints, get ready for what God is going to do. I need everybody to share this broadcast. Now, saints, we talking about something real strong here. Real powerful.
I'm also talking to you about being an apostle and a prophet. This is going to be real uh, beneficial. It's going to be amazing. Uh, this is really going to just stir you. I promise you. You'll carry an anointing just from hearing what God has given me. It's, it's just amazing. Since I stay stirred up, I stay uh, fired up every day. Why? Because I listen for the fresh things that God is saying. It's hard for demons to speak to me because I already know their vocabulary, their tone, the direction they take. I already know. So it's very hard for them to speak to me. <laughs> so Saint Satan, ah, here he come again. And saints, I already told you, I call Satan nigger, so <laughs> that, that's how I address him. And saints sometimes it'll be like, nah, nah, nigga. So that's how I talk to Satan, and you know, I, you know, joke about it, you know. So, so it's kind of hard for him to speak to me like that. You can become a boss in the spirit as a woman, as a man, to the degree that demons don't want to talk to you no more because they already know their response. Since you think them demons like to hear man shall not live by bread alone, they didn't like to hear that. They're like, ah, here we go again. Tell us the word again. I'm tired of this. Just be carnal for a minute. Saints, be careful of them people too. They like to, uh, they like to feed you weakness. That ain't God. That's witchcraft. Anybody that's feeding you weakness is witchcraft. They they teaching you how to operate in witchcraft. There, there's no there's no shadow of turning with God. He don't mess. You ain't no mess either. You got the same glory in the highest. Oh, let our King be lifted up. Oh yes. Oh, Zen and uh, St. Shittish broadcast, invite your followers. Oh, Zen, let me get this on my other phone because everybody, Shittish broadcast, I want you to invite your followers. Everybody invite your followers. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hosanna oh, in the highest. Highest. Ah, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Santa. I need over 50 people to retweet this on Twitter. <laughs> 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 
be lifted higher, higher, higher. Oh yes, Jesus, be lifted higher. <laughs> Higher, higher, Jesus, you be lifted higher, 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 forever. Be lifted, be lifted higher, higher, oh yes, Jesus, you be lifted higher, be lifted Be lifted higher, glory, 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 higher, 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 Jesus, glory. Jesus, be lifted higher, 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 oh. Saints, there's going to be a special grace on this line as we are watching. I want some of you all to be praying in the spirit. Healing is going to go forth on this line. Get ready, saints. Everybody share this broadcast. The wisdom of God is, a, is, is within me, is upon me. Get ready for what God is about to do. Every single person, get ready for what God is about to do. As you're joining on the saints, I want you to share this broadcast. Invite your followers. Invite your followers. Bless your saints. Where are you? Where are some of you? Are you everyone spending their Christmas in their uh, city and state, or are you going somewhere else? Are you flying? Are you going with family? Are you going to be home? Because saints, I'm going to be turned on that day. You know what I'm saying? And saints, both New Year's and Christmas, listen, it's going to be some fire scopes. I promise you. Everybody. Some of you all went home. Some of you all are, are traveling. Is any of you all outside of America? Is everybody? Saints, listen. The supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ through prophet Joshua is never going to stop. <laughs> it can't stop. You know why? Saints, when God enjoy you, he don't want to leave you. Saints, God can have a soul tie with you. 
he moved for Uncle Shirley for five minutes, then he come back. He said, "Now nah, I gotta go back home because I can't, I can't deal with Uncle Shirley. Uncle Shirley, she getting on my nerves every time I'm trying to tell her to do something. She keep on asking me for confirmation. So God be like, listen, I'm gonna go back over here by Prophet Joshua. You, you can get like that with God. Saints, how you think that mantles get transferred? Because God, like, ah, I, I'm trying to help this one right here. They don't want to do the thing. Let me just go over here, why? Let me just use this one to get it done. Saints, God, God is a person. Saints, do you know I never give Jesus attitude? Jesus don't see no attitude out of me. I just be chilling. And like, Lord, oh, you say give a thousand? All right, Jesus. I don't even ask him no questions. I don't even ask him no questions. Saints, I don't be asking God what I'm going to do tomorrow. I, I ain't got time for that. Jesus, I'm going to enjoy today. You, you handle tomorrow. That's your job. I'm just going to do my part. And chill in his will. The saints, too much thought gets you caught in the satanic. If you're taking notes, write that down. Too much thought gets you caught in the satanic. Too much thought get you caught in the satanic you can have a demon trap you know how we have mouse trap can you discern the cheese that the devil uses to get you off your knees do you discern the cheese to get that the devil uses to get you off your knees because saints in, in a mouse trap you gotta put the cheese somewhere that the mouse don't see that behind the cheese is a trap some of y'all used to be God's queens, but now you trap queens because you're trapped up. <laughs> Some of y'all used to be God's king, but now you trap kings because you trapped up. You done got trapped by Satan. He trapping you. So saints, don't, <laughs> don't stay in the cheese. Discern the cheese. Those are thoughts that the devil is hiding behind to get you trapped up, get you caught up. Too much thought gets you caught in the satanic. I'm going to say that again. Too much thought gets you caught in the satanic. Why did Jesus tell Peter to walk on water? He was trying to get his thoughts out. To get the oil in. Always remember that. God got to get your thoughts out so that he can get his oil in. Why did the Bible say, anoint your head with oil? Because that's the sign of you that stopped the Holy Ghost. That's the sign of you that hindered the Holy Ghost. I anoint your head with oil. Why did he say your head? Because your head is dead. It's separated from God. Your head is dead. So what God said, I, I, I'm going to anoint your head with oil. I, I need to put power on this side of you. Because this side of you is what's going to hinder you from being the woman, from being the man, from being dominant, from being in the anointing, from being humble, from being righteous, from being focused, from being worthy, from being worshipful. This is the side. I'm going to your head. You don't need your head to serve God. Why do you think that God let John the Baptist's head get cut off? You don't need your head. Your head don't get you ahead. It just take you back. It just hinder you. It just stop you. It just cause you to miss God. Saints, do you notice that you are the strongest when you're not in your head? You're the weakest when you're in your head. Why? Because your head don't understand God. It don't understand the anointing. It doesn't understand angels. Your head does not have confidence in God. Your head needs to be beheaded. Before you can be filled with the Holy Ghost, because the Bible said John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost. In order for you to be filled with the Holy Ghost, you got to be beheaded. The head got to be out of the way. So God got to get you out your thoughts so that he can get you into your purpose. Your thoughts is your biggest enemy. It's not even a person. See, saints, we messed it up. Your, your, people are not your biggest enemy. Your thoughts is your biggest enemy. Because, saints, people can leave. You can get out of the presence of people. But can you get out of the presence of your thoughts? You can get out the presence of people. But can you get out the presence of your thoughts? Because even if people are not there, your thoughts will remain if you have not been delivered from your thoughts. See, saints, it's not. Now, let me say this. Your thoughts are thoughts. 
your thoughts are thoughts. So, so, so your 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 your, your thought is a hope. It, it don't know what loyalty is to God. It don't know. So anybody operating in their head, they're never spirit led. It don't. It, it's not going to follow God. Your head is not going to lead you into righteousness. So it, it says, have you ever told somebody what God said? They said, let me think about it. Ah, oh, you done failed God. <laughs> You already know. If you got to think about this. Zing. It's over. Because what happened is. Your mind don't crave what's divine. Your mind is a hater. Of the greater. That God want to give you. Do you know that your mind is a hater of the greater. The Bible said, greater works I do, shall you also do. The works I do, you shall do also. And even greater, greater is he that is in me. I might keep on talking about nigga. Listen, you talking about nigga, but you talking about Nigeria at the same time. You don't know how to spell. You got N-I-G-A. Let me help you out with a blood. To broke cell. So, saints, you got to get out your mind. Your, th <laughs> your, your thought life. Huh? Don't let what you catching cause you to start regretting. Because saints, what are you catching? Your mind is a basket. It's catching the right things or it's catching the smart things. I'm going to say it one more time. Your mind is a basket. It's catching the right things or the smart things. What's the smart things? The things that come to kill you. The smart things are the things that come to crucify you cut you off from your relationship with God. The right things, the smite things. If you take a note, write that down. Your mind is a basket. That's why you should bask in the presence of God. What are we doing on these scopes? We basking in the presence of God. We're basking in the anointing. We're basking in wisdom from the Lord. So saints, that's the secret. That's the secret to all of this. What God will do is he'll make sure that you get underneath an apostolic man of God, an apostle of God, a prophet of God. Why? Because the prophet give you direction and the apostle give you resurrection. Let me say that one more time. The prophet give you direction, the apostle give you resurrection. When you get both combinations of the anointing, you can't fall as a woman. It says, ain't nobody connected to Prophet Joshua for real, for real falling. It's only people that just don't listen. Because I really got the keys of life. <laughs> I'm carrying the keys. I use the keys for myself. I know they work. Ain't nobody can tell me that they don't work because I use them for myself. This is not just something that I think. I use the keys for myself. Since you think I spend my whole prayer life praying against the devil, I ain't got time for that nigga. I spend my time fellowshipping with Jesus, finding out the vision for this ministry, finding out what to do next, finding out who to kick out my life, finding out who to keep in my life, finding out how to clean out my garden, finding out what direction to take financially, what seed to sow next, what he asking me to do next. That's what I find out from God. I ask God, where you want me to pit money? Will you, will you want me to sow this? How much you asking me to sow? See, saints, you, you're not at the level of the glory of God until you start asking God what to do with the things that you got. See, saints, if you, if you don't do that, you can find yourself decreasing in the spirit. Hear me, woman of God. You need to catch this. Prophetess must know how to crush the head of the serpent in their life. Every prophetess must know that there is somebody that God is going to send in the man form that's going to cover you. In the man form, not the female form, in the man form. Why? Because saints, the Bible said that Jesus, he's the husband of the church, but the church is his woman. Now the church is powerful, but they're not powerful without the circuit. So they have to plug into him. The church is powerful, but they have to plug into the man of God, which is Christ Jesus, which is 
the apostle, the Bible calls him in the book of Hebrews. The Bible called Jesus the apostle. So you imagine Jesus is the leading apostle. There's no, there, there's no apostleship apart from him. There's no prophetic anointing apart from him. He's the overseer of the offices. He gives grace to the office. He gives power to the office. Why did the Bible say Jesus didn't come to get rid of the law of the prophets, but he came to fulfill the law? He came to make that law that the prophets operate in, the law of that prophetic anointing, to be at its all-time high. Think about it. Jesus increased the level of the law of the anointing, the dimension of the law of the anointing in prophets. When he died, he released a new wave of prophets. He released a new wave of the apostle. You imagine that, saints. Saints, I'm stirred up saying, listen, those of you all that's joining on here, share this broadcast. This is going to be so powerful. Get a notepad. Get ready for some deep things. I feel the anointing on this. The power of God is going to hit you. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. We praise you, we magnify, glorify, yes, your name. Get ready, saints, for what God is about to do. There's a special grace coming on you. Oh, oh, sold out, Lord, we're sold out to you, sold out, yes. We're sold out, withholding nothing, all to you, sold out to you, oh yes, sold out, surrender, yes, yes. All to you, all to you, sold out, let our King be lifted up, oh, Zena, oh, Zena, oh, let our King be lifted up. Oh, oh, and let our King be lifted up. Oh, <laughs> Zena. <laughs> Hosanna, let our King be lifted up, Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh yes. In the highest, highest, 
highest let our king be lifted up saints i asked god to touch my voice because i was losing my voice yesterday <laughs> so i know he real because <laughs> he touched my voice Hosanna. <laughs> Like, come on, Jesus, you told me to do this, or do this what I'm doing. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest, 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 let our King be lifted up. Oh, Zena, Zena, oh yes, yes. Oh Zena, oh Zena, you're in the highest, highest, highest. Let a king. Be lifted up, oh, oh, Hosanna, 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 oh yes, in the highest. Hosanna, 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 oh yes, let a king be lifted up, oh yes, Hosanna, Jesus you be lifted, higher, higher, higher. Jesus be lifted higher, 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 always, forever, higher, forever, higher. Always higher, Jesus be lifted higher, be lifted higher, higher. Oh, yes, oh. Higher, 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 always, forever, higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Oh yes, oh yes, be lifted higher, oh yes, be lifted.
did it. Higher, higher, higher. Let our King, yes. Let our King be lifted. Oh, Zen. Let our King, Jesus, your King. Christ the King, your everything. Let our King be lifted up. Oh, Zena. Oh, yes. God alone, you are God alone, and right now, through the good times and bad, yes, you are on the throne, you are God alone, you are God alone. Oh yes, you are on the throne, you are God alone. Oh yes, right now, through the good times and bad, you are on the throne, you are God alone. Oh yes. You are God alone. You are God alone. God alone. Right now, to the good times and bad. Oh, yes, you are on the throne. You are God alone. Oh yes, unshakable, that's who you are, incomparable, unstoppable, unshakable, that's who you are. Unstoppable, unchangeable, that's who you are, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, Oh, oh yes, yes, oh yes, yes, oh yes, that's who you are, oh yes, unstoppable, he's unchangeable. Unshakable, that's who you are. Oh, yes, 
unchangeable, unstoppable. That's who you are. Incomparable, unchangeable, unstoppable. That's who you are. He's Jesus. He's Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. King of kings. Lord of lords. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Oh, yes. Before time and past. Oh, yes, you are God alone. Right now. In the good times and bad, you are on the throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, the good times and bad, you are on your throne, you are God alone. Saints, I need everybody to share this broadcast. If you're on Twitter, retweet this. If you're on Facebook, share this broadcast, yes. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. God alone. You are God alone. Oh, yes. Everybody, listen, this is going to be so powerful. It's going to be so powerful. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you. I <laughs> love you back. Oh, yes. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank 
thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you, thank you for all. Thank you, thank you, oh yes, for all you've done for me. Saints, if you thank God, you can never go without. God is not even so concerned about a lot of things that we place as forms of service. He really looking for someone thankful. If you're thankful, it, it trickles over to your attitude. It trickles over to your behavior, your thoughts, your ways. Thank you for all you've done for me. That's what he's looking for. Because saints... There was 10 lepers that he healed. Only one came back and said, thank you. So imagine that the power of God was released to take away a condition that was rare, that was incurable. And only one person realized that it was Jesus that did it for them. Thank, thankfulness is when you realize what Jesus has done for you. Not just through his spirit, but through his prophet, through his people, through someone that's been sent into your life. You realize, I couldn't have made it to this level of the anointing without you. I, I couldn't have known things without you. It's not that I just grew in the Lord, but you helped me. Thank you, Jesus, for helping me through the individual, as the individual. Because saints, we always talk about people being devils. If there's devils in the earth, there is Jesus in the earth. Thank you for all you've done for me, oh Lord, for Saints, thankfulness causes unity. You can't be wicked when you're thankful. You can't be bitter when you're thankful. You can't be wrong when you're thankful. Thank you for all you've done for me. As a matter of fact, you can't even miss God when you're thankful. Because thankfulness releases such a presence of God in your atmosphere and in your life that you can't sin against God. In thankfulness, you cannot miss. Jesus was so bold because he was thankful. He took the five loaves and two fish. The Bible said he gave thanks even Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For all you've done for me. Oh, yes, yes.
These scopes is to allow you to come to another level in your quality time with God. Saints, everybody, if you can share this on Facebook, share this on Facebook. Retweet this on Twitter as you're joining on and say, Lord, I receive the prophet's reward. As you're joining on. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. All I praise. All I praise. We thank you. There's strength in the presence of God. You need this as a woman. You need this as a man. That has to be the root of every single thing that you do. You can't miss when you spend time with God. And be thankful. You don't have to have the multitude of words. You be honest, sometimes your words take you out of the spirit. You can talk to God so long about things that not even on his agenda that you find yourself, you're like, ah, I don't feel no anointing. I don't feel no power. Most times it's because your focus, your vocabulary is on something else. The spirit of God trying to get you just to get back in the norm of just simplicity the simplicity of the gospel we're coming back to you giving you all the praise saints. When God is drawing you, I mean that's when your life take off. He gonna start telling you to do a lot of things and that's just between you and God. He, he, sometimes he don't want you to have your family involved. Sometimes he not calling your children to be involved. Sometimes he not calling nobody around you to be involved. He calling you. You gotta value that to such a degree that you keep that sacred. You keep it sacred. Just between you you and him. Saints, one of the worst things that you can do is let people into your divine business. 
when they can't handle it. Saints, if you be honest, you can be so excited that you tell somebody, listen, and you know what's happening? And then they up there look at you and you creating an attack just because you spoke to somebody that's dusty. Saints, learn to get excited and be wise at the same time. <laughs> get excited and be wise at the same time. You hear what I'm saying? Because saints, remember when you're on fire, the next phase is to create, send people down your path that are fire extinguishes. Trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. You wrap yourself in light. Darkness tries to hide. Trembles at his voice, yes. Trembles at his voice. How great, yes. Oh, yes. Three and one, beginning and the end. Beginning and the end. That's why people try to avoid you and tremble at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God sing with me? How great is our God? And all will see how great. How great is our God? How great, how great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, all will see. How great, how great is our God. How 
how great Oh yes Oh yes You're the name above our names Worthy of all praise Oh yes, yes A heart for sin How great is our God Who worship glory You're the name above our names You are worthy of all praise Our hearts will sing How great, how great is our God I feel the glory of God. Saints, I feel like I'm going to explode. Listen, those of you who are on here, receive a fresh anointing. Right before Christmas, receive a fresh anointing. Right before Christmas. And listen, I, I, I'm going to talk some deep things to the woman of God on here. Uh... This is really going to bless you. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going to prophesy to you in what I'm going to say. And some of you are going to catch it and be like, wow. I promise you, saints. Oh, yes, yes. It's our God. All oh, will see how great. How great is our God. You're welcome in this place If you know any woman Invite them If you know any person that you deem to be apostolic or an apostle this is going to be deep saints as a matter of fact listen hold on wait don't invite them <laughs> I just caught a revelation I forgot people was dusty listen saints I forgot don't invite them listen but saints just invite your followers share, share this broadcast I just, I just just, just, re just remember. Oh yes. You're on Twitter. Retweet this, saints. Oh. 
Now, this is going to be powerful. I feel the anointing saints. This is going to be dynamic. I promise you. You got a notepad, saints. I want to get into this. I want to get into this. I want to get into this. Now, saints, bless you, everybody. Now, saints, when we deal with the woman of God. There's many sides to a woman. There's many sides to a woman. When God created a woman, he placed his sensitive side in her. He placed his organization side to her. He placed his emotional side in her. He placed his nurturing side in her. If a woman does not grow, she malfunctions. Why? Because a woman is really anointed to grow others. That's why God even have a child be nurtured by a mother. Mothers have the ability to produce growth. So if a woman does not grow, she malfunctions. Because if you're trying to grow others and you can't grow yourself, you are in a place of hypocrisy, which it affects your emotions more than you know. Hypocrisy towards a woman will damage her more than anything that the devil can throw at her. Why? Because your heart will begin to let you know, listen, you're supposed to be doing better in your functionality, in your mentality, in your fruit. And so while you're trying to grow other people, the devil can fight you. It can backlash on you. A woman has the ability to grow others. So she herself must grow. When a woman stops growing, she becomes something that she regrets. When a woman stops growing, she begins to think things that she never wanted to find herself thinking. When a woman stops growing, it invites the satanic in ways that she didn't expect was going to come. There's a backlash. And Satan hates every woman. Satan does not love any woman. No woman is really his friend, though he is friendly to the woman. Notice that the snake, Satan, came to the woman in a friendly way. Every woman must know that all of your enemies will be the most friendly. I'm going to say this again. Every woman must know that all of your enemies will be the most friendly. The snake did not come to the woman in any other way but friendliness, kindness. Your enemies is your friendliest person. Because saints, no snake in your life will come to you as a woman in a boisterous way. It will come to you in a way of loyalty. Be careful of people, woman of God, that swear loyalty to you. When people swear loyalty, loyalty to you, sometimes it should really become suspicious. Because saints, I rarely have to tell people that I'm loyal to them. Why? Because I'm a very loyal person. Since it, my issue is not that I, I don't love people. I love people, but they don't know how to love me. So the secret that I have learned from God is there's a time for disconnection. I just be waiting like a mug. And then when he disconnect, you see me pop up. I'll be like, listen, saints, God told me this and this and this. Now he released me to tell you also disconnect yourself as well. <laughs> he don't pay me no never mind. I just be waiting. Saints, I ain't ignorant of nothing either. I know when there's a richer prize spread around me. Oh, yes. I, I know when richer prize around me. Huh? 
I, I know when Richard Pry is around me, but what I do is, <laughs> what I do, I just, I just hold on. Go hold on until the right time. I, I, I know, I, listen, people with crowns can detect their clowns. You taking notes, write that down, woman of God. You need to write this down on a, a journal. Start writing down this stuff in a journal. I, listen, I'm loaded. I'm going to be teaching this thing all 2018. I'm going to be moving in revelation, demonstration, and explanation, and, and termination of every demon. This apostolic, this prophetic. I'm going to flow in both realms. All 2018, that's what God told me to do. Flow in both realms. Flow in both offices. Flow in both graces. Flow in both anointings. Flow in both dominions. Every person with a crown can detect the clown. Saints, if God gives you a crown, it means that he's pitting an anointing on your head for you to keep yourself from being polluted, perverted, or corrupted. People with crowns can detect the clown. When you have a crown, you can detect the clown. Because what that crown does is a higher level of downloads coming from God. Remember when Apostle Paul said, I received the crown of life. When he said, I received the crown of life, it wasn't just a life being given to him spiritually. In the spirit realm, it means that God had promoted him. Now he was wearing something in the spirit realm that was different than everybody else. God had anointed him to move in another place of downloads. His mentality was lit. His mind was in a place where he submit. And God was able to give him things that other people could not carry, though they served God longer than him. See, he says, let me just tell you something. Stop looking at how long people serve God. Most people that serve God for a long time are very dusty. Since you ever seen somebody say, I served God for 30 years and you got 30 years of nothing. No, you ain't served God for 30 years. You served yourself for 30 years, but you stamped God behind it. You just started serving God last year. My God. You just started serving God when God began to move things in your life. You didn't serve God all that time. There was a time in your life when you were serving yourself, but you just stamped God on the side of it because you wanted to seem like everything was all right. But God didn't know you yet. Well, what the Bible said, depart from me, I never knew you. That's what God would have told you two years ago. If you be honest, you was bouncing from church to church, ministry to ministry, verse to verse. You ain't even know how to study the Bible. You had a low-key dyslexia spirit. That wasn't God. God teaching you how to focus, how to move in a supernatural loyalty to the word, a supernatural loyalty to your vows. And now you're able to pay your vows, complete what you tell God you're going to do without wavering and nobody can take you out of the place you are in the spirit. Now you establish steadfast and movable, a in the work of the Lord, knowing that your work in the Lord is not in vain. He made you rooted and grounded in his love. It was him. Since most times you think that you with God, but ha, you don't know that God is not with you. He waited for you to submit to him. He waited for you to surrender to him. He waited for you to worship him. Bow down and worship. That's me and you see a new song. We got, <laughs> we got a mixtape coming out. Saints, I done let her. Oh, dang. I done let you in on the secret. Everybody share this broadcast. <laughs> I done let you in on a secret. Dang. Try to keep it a secret. Dang it. But saints, a lot of times you think that God is with you and you, you, you're not with God. You are not with God. You're with what you think God will accept. You're with what you think God will receive. You're with what you think God is going to say yes to. But saints, God is a king, so he has a preference. If he don't get it his way, he don't want it no way. See, saints, the mindset of a king is get this thing done the way that I told you to get it or don't give it to me at all. If I told you to go left and you went to the right, to the right, then you went to the left and then went to the right, I'm not going to receive that. I told you to go to the left. If you can't go to the left, I don't want it until it's all the way to the left. If you got to wait three years, I'm not going to receive it until it's to the left. If you got to wait five months, I'm not going to receive it until it's to the left. I'm not going to compromise with my instruction. Every woman of God must know this, especially when you're a prophetess. The prophetess anointing is where God places a demand on you as a woman. 
Why? Because he trusts you. Why? Because he knows his investment in you. Why? Because he knows the grace that he has given to you. God will never instruct you past your grace. God will never instruct you past your grace. If the instruction came, the grace came before the instruction. I'm going to say this again. If the instruction came, the grace came before the instruction. Saints, do you know that God anointed the woman when she was in the belly of Adam? Oh, my God. That woman was anointed in the belly of Adam. My God. Saints, let me say this. We talk about woman giving birth to children, but we forget that man gave birth to woman. Oh, Jesus. Only a few going to catch me. Oh, Jesus. This is some deep stuff. Every man of God, if you're on this line, you need to you stay on here. This is for you as well. You forget that it was the man that gave birth to the first woman. He started the woman race. There was no woman race. Woman did not come from God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Woman came from man. Oh, my God. That's why you see in the New Testament, the Bible said Christ is the head of God. God is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. Because saints, God did not create woman for him. Oh, Jesus. God created woman for a man of God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm going to teach this thing like I feel it. I'm going to teach it how God said it. Saints, you need to hear the truth. It's in the word. <laughs> God created woman for man. He ain't created woman for himself. That's why some of y'all be asking God to fix your woman. He like, listen, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your woman. You, you, your job just to, to love her, teach her what I say. Huh? God created woman for man. A man of God. Because you great. You, you, you ain't going to be serving Bozo the Clown. You're not going to be serving Tom, Dick, and Harry. Uh, the second one, you need to get that out real quick. I mean, you know, but that's what they say. Huh? 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 You, 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 you're not supposed to be serving every man. There's a man of God that God going to send to you. And saints, you were created for the man of God. Saints, do you understand the supernatural anointing that a woman carries to lift the man of God to another level? The supernatural anointing that you carry as a woman? The supernatural grace that you carry as a woman? It's not normal. The grace is different. The grace is superior. The grace is prominent. The grace, the grace is dominant. It's supernatural. It's not like everybody else. You a different woman. Beyonce ain't got nothing on this. Rihanna ain't got nothing on this. No woman on the earth can carry the same thing a woman of God is carrying because your assignment is to lift the presence of Jesus up in the man of God so that the man of God will fulfill. Every woman of God got that anointing to do it. Saints, do you think that God created woman for himself? No, God created woman for the man of God. That's playing him in the earth. What God did was say, listen, Adam, you already got me. You, you don't need me, Adam. I'm already... I'm already your God. You got me. You know who I be. I'm Jehovah. You know who I was. But what I'm going to do is not good for you to be alone. Adam was looking at God like, what you mean? Oh, I'm not good for me to be alone. I'm not alone. I got you. God was like, no, no, no. Mokusia. I'm going to pick some parts on this woman. You know why God picked parts on you, woman of God? Listen, God picked parts on you. You know why he picked certain parts on you? It's just to show how distinguished you are. You got the ability to bring pleasure and life and joy and happiness to someone that God has assigned to your life. Why he picked parts on you? Because there's something that God thought about when he made you. He made you unique in your own fashion form. You don't got to compare yourself to the Instagram girls. You don't got to compare yourself to no porno star. You don't got to 
compare yourself to nobody in the mainstream. You was created with special frame and special abilities and special anointings and special appearances and the way that God created you was enough for you to move as a woman of God and to be all that you could be and to be that virtue that is needed in the body of Christ for the work of God to go forth. Don't shy back now in 2017. This is the time for you to take it up another notch, for you to take it up another level, to take it up another level, to take it up to another dimension because God has entrusted you. He's given you a supernatural being. He's given you a supernatural assignment. He's given you a supernatural mindset, a supernatural grace, a supernatural glory for you to walk in the earth different from every other woman, to fulfill your assignment, to fulfill your mission, to get it done with excellency. You've been given the spirit of Jesus Christ, not the spirit of evil, not the spirit of strife, not the spirit of insecurity, but the spirit of boldness, the spirit of a lioness, where you can roar in worship. You can roar through your giving. You can roar through your submission. You can roar through your faith. You can roar through your faithfulness. You can roar through your praise and your thanksgiving. This is a supernatural anointing. And saints, what's so powerful is God didn't place this. He didn't place this on, 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 on the devil woman. The devil woman don't got this. They don't got this dimension. God placed it on the woman that are submitted to his presence. God placed it on the woman that are submitted to the Holy Ghost. He placed it on the woman that's saying yes to God. He placed it on the woman that don't care about what people got to say about her. She's going to move in her grace. She's going to move in her anointing. She's going to move in the power of God. It don't matter who like it. It don't matter who feel it. It don't matter who agree with it. It don't matter if mother forsake you. You. It don't matter if auntie forsake you. It don't matter if your family look at you like you crazy. You fall in the Holy Ghost by any means necessary. You going 7,000 for Jesus. You are part of that remnant that have not bowed their knee to bail. You're not following nobody and looking for nobody to approve of you. God done approved of you when he placed favor on you. He said yes to your creation. He said yes to your assignment. He said yes to your anointing. He said yes to what you was called to do. He gave you the grace to be more than a conqueror through Christ. Christ Jesus, he gave you the anointing to submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. He gave you the anointing to crush the head of the serpent, to break down every yoke, to destroy every stronghold, to break down every satanic wall, to remove every form of witchcraft, to crush every single serpent that's trying to rise up in your life, to destroy every single demon that's coming against your life. He gave you a special anointing. If you move with the anointing, no demon can stop you. You're going at the speed of God, not the speed of flesh. You're not moving 